Hey guys, sitting in my room on a dreary Monday afternoon and I was kind of thinking about the video that I did a couple days ago. Um, I had some negative reactions from Jake and Abby. They came up to me and told me that it wasn't cool. And I felt kind of bad because even though I was going against the Jake and Emily fight, I still said some things about them, which is perpetuating the whole saying things about people on the internet. And so, first I want to apologize for that, but that was the way I was feeling at the time. So I decided to go about it another way. I'm not taking the video off because it's my video, but I wanted to do another video and talk about the 50 things I love about my friends. Veronica, I'll start with you because you're probably the person I hang around with the most. You can make the most mundane things like sitting and waiting in Jake's room while he goes to get coffee. You can make them fun. And that is why I love you because you are such a fun person to hang around. You also manage to do all of your sketches and keep up with school and have an active social life. I don't know how you do it. I'm in dance and like I'm struggling and you just make it look so easy. Also, you are one of the most unique people I've ever met. Like everyone's unique, obviously, but you are just crazy <laughs> and I love that and I will probably never meet such a good friend. Okay, Emily. Emily, you are the funniest person that I know. And you are also super cute. I'm not sure if you really think Norwegia is a real place, but I'm sure everyone in Norway can forgive you because you're just that damn cute. Also, you are so passionate about things that you like. Like, you'll get behind something and you'll just fight for it, and that is so admirable. Also, we both own fish. Snail is at home right now in Ottawa. My parents are taking care of him, but yes, we both have fish, and Veronica does too. So that is also why we raw. Also, your hair dyeing skills are superb. Enough said. <laughs> and you help me drive Roger crazy. So as long as you keep up your picket chance, I promise I will play Justin just as loud back. Jake, I love hanging out with you. And even though we fight sometimes, you still know that I love you a lot. When all of us end up doing random things, you always get dragged in, and even though sometimes I know you'd rather be doing other things, you still go along with them, and I really appreciate that, because taking one for the team is pretty awesome. Also, your video editing skills cannot be beat. I will never get up to your caliber of video editing skills, so that is also pretty cool. Um, you're, you are always around, and that is so great, because... I love coming to your room when I'm bored and have nothing to do. You always make me unbored. Um, sorry my video kind of got cut off in the middle. I decided to go to the gym and think about things. I got kind of upset. So now it's late and I am back from the gym, but I am going to finish my 50 things that I love my friends. I'm just going to put this light on. Okay, Rachel, you know I love you. Um, first of all, I want to say I really love the video that you did. And if you YouTubers haven't seen it, it was really good. And so I'm glad that she put that up in the time span that I had to go to the gym and that we were kind of on the same wavelength. Rachel, if I need someone to talk to, I know that I can go to you. And you always come and get coffee with me at random hours, even if you have something else to do. So I really like that. You are super caring and I am so jealous of the relationship you have with your boyfriend. You have such a knack at creating relationships and like keeping them. And you're a great friend and a great girlfriend. And so that is a really great characteristic. Lobby, you are super cute, especially your stress balls. You are my friend that keeps me grounded, 
if I need to study or if I have if I have work that I need to do, I know I can go to you and you will sit me down and make me do it, which is wonderful because I need that sometimes. Lavi, you're blunt, yeah. and I love that about you. Also, your dancing skills can't be beat. Do you want me to put on Barracuda? Abby, you are always willing to have fun and go out with me. And you are also super outgoing. I can never be as outgoing as you are. And you just do it effortlessly. If I need to get away or go downtown or just do something other than work or hang out in this building, <laughs> then I know that you're game. And it's really nice to know that you have my back. Also, you are one of the most generous people that I know. You're always willing to lend a helping hand or offer up your help. And I know that you enjoy that and everyone really appreciates it. Morgan, you're my oldest friend that I keep in contact with. And I really appreciate the effort that it takes to keep up a relationship where you don't see each other every day. Also, who would I speak bad French with? Parlez vous français? I've spent some of the best times of my life driving around in your car and lying on the dock at your summer house. I would not trade those memories for anything. Also, if I'm having a problem, you will spend hours on the phone with me, helping me through them. I know you have pretty long distance, but that doesn't matter. You'll still spend that time and try and work me through it. And if you can't work me through it, you invite me over. And we forget about our problems and have fun. So that's not quite 50, but I think you get my point. My friends are awesome. You see them at their best. You see them at their worst. But I tried to do what Jake did in an opposite way. In 34 or so things, I summed up my friends in a positive, nice way. So I'd like to offer this up as my apology and hope that other apologies will follow. Night-night.